Two lucky residents got the call today to receive their Jimmy Buffett tickets. Residents, of course, receive these tickets after they win a contest. Corey Howard has more. Now, right inside the Sanger Theater, Men and Mark gave out two sets of two Jimmy Buffett tickets to a couple residents who donated a can of peanut butter to help out thousands of individuals across the Pine Belt. Residents from across the Pine Belt donated one jar of peanut butter for a chance to win Jimmy Buffett tickets. It's over 700 uh, jars of peanut butter that we have right there, and it's equal, probably about an equal number of sardine cans. Many Mart matched each jar of peanut butter with a can of sardines. The irony behind these items comes from the conspiracy. Jimmy Buffett used to steal peanut butter and sardines from the Mini Mart on 28th Avenue back in the day. Please don't steal the peanut butter. I'll get a can of sardines. Amanda Bailey, the founder's granddaughter of Mini Mart, pulled two jars of peanut butter for today's lucky contestants. All right, let's see who we got here. The two winners were Busy Bee Break Shop and an individual named Rayford. We'll be trying to contact them again tonight, but if we're not able to contact them, they can pick up their tickets at Will Call. Uh, they'll need to bring a valid ID just so we can make sure that it's actually the person that won. As for the jars of peanut butter, they will go to a local food pantry to help residents in need. We're filling up a lot of barrels here, so hopefully this will get us through a month. I mean, that would be super. Um, but every gift that we get from the community is so appreciated because it helps fill, you know, make sure that hungry neighbors have what they need. And, and if you didn't win tickets this time, downtown Hattiesburg will be having a street party at 3 p.m. on Thursday, giving residents another chance to win tickets. I'm Corey Howard reporting in Hattiesburg, Twin States News.